the idea of electroplating is like this okay let's say we have a key we have a key and then uh, we want to electroplate this key okay let's say this key made out of uh, ions okay and ions can rust easily we want to prevent rusting so we want to uh, electroplate this key with a uh, layers of copper we want the copper to cover the surface of these ions so the idea is uh, we use uh, copper metals okay the atoms of the copper metals will go to the surface of the key here and then stick on the surface of the key that's the idea okay in electroplatings the very very first things that we need to know is okay uh, which one uh, you should you take it as the anode and which one you should take it as the ca uh, cathodes anode or cathodes uh, okay so if you you want to electroplate a key okay so should you put the key at the cathodes or should you put the key at the a node so uh, which one should be the cathode and which one should be the a nodes uh? now here okay obviously okay because it's already labeled here right okay it's already labeled here so the key is the cathodes uh? and uh the the metals that that we want to electroplate on the key is the uh, a nodes uh? but the question is why the cathode should be the key but why not why not the key uh, is attached to the a node to answer this uh, to, uh we need to know what will happen during electrolysis eh? now during electrolysis uh, the electrolyte that we use eh, is uh, copper sulfate eh? the electrolyte that we use is copper sulfate uh, it's the copper sulfate solutions now can any of you tell me what are the ions that present in copper 2 sulfate solutions okay there are copper ions and sulfate ions right sulfate ions hydroxide ions and hydrogen ions right hydrogen ions huh? okay so during electrolysis huh, the copper ions and the hydrogen ions it will go to the cathode or anode copper ion is positive huh? so it will go to the cathode huh? okay so these two ion it will go to the cathode now after these two ion it go to the cathode uh, which one will be selected to be discharged copper and hydrogens huh? which one will be selected to be discharged copper copper it, because copper is lower than hydrogen in electrochemical series eh? and therefore copper will be selected to be discharged so when copper selected to be discharged the copper ions it will form copper uh, atom eh? okay plus the electrons at the left hand side okay so it will form copper atoms okay so this is copper atom or copper metal eh? copper metals so these copper metals it will stick let's say this is a copper metals huh? so these copper metals it will stick or deposits on the surface of the key yeah? these copper metals okay so the copper metals the copper ions go to the cathode uh, at cathodes the copper ion receive electron to form copper metals the copper metal will deposit on the surface of the cathodes that's why the key must be the cathodes eh? okay the key must be the cathode if the key is the anodes the copper ions won't go to the anode and then deposit there okay that's the reason why the key must be cathode because the key must attract the copper ions first it must attract the copper ion which is positive okay and then it must discharge the copper ions so it must be cathodes eh? Uh, you can ask the questions okay how to choose uh, which electrolyte to use okay now it depends on what you want to electroplate on the surface of the key if you want to electroplate uh, copper then we use a uh, copper electrolytes of copper if you want to electroplate it with uh, silver then uh, you should use the electrolyte that contains silver uh you can use copper chloride okay you can use copper chloride copper sulfate copper nitrate okay but usually we use copper sulfate is because the copper sulfate is, uh, is cheaper